days ago. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. I love this shirt. It's just very colorful. I had to update my software earlier. It took all day while I was at work and um, finally get the software to working and then my SD card reader gives out on me. Like you guys, this shoot started, we did it on Sunday morning which we are in the shadow phase of this coming retrograde and I'm telling you everything that could go wrong went wrong but we got her some really great shots and I hope she really likes them. She was really easy to photograph. So I went to Walgreens to see if they had an SD card reader and they had a power surge. It was a lightning storm. So I went to the Walmart. Of course Walmart is like four tough. Their registers were working but they didn't have an SD card reader. Now I'm on my way to Office Max, and if they don't have it, I mean, yeah, Amazon, but I'm trying to get these photos to her like ASAP. That is something that I like to do. I like to get to the photos like within the first um, day or two of shooting them so that I can look at them with fresh eyes. If I look at them like days down the line, it's not going to be as enthusiastic about them. Look her photos at a metro park and it's just really pretty. They had a lot of um, things that we could put as her background. Originally, we were gonna book a studio, um, but our schedules couldn't line up. So we just ended up just like, you know what? Let, we have a day, um, let's just do it and we got it done. I really like this hair, this outre hair. The wig's name is Seraphine, so you know I had to try it, because you know, I'm a Serafina. Um, it is in cinnamon mocha. Isn't that sexy? Oh, cinnamon mocha. I'm thinking about fall already. Obviously, it's here. It wants to rain and be yucky. It was so hot today. It was like 93 degrees. And everybody and their mother wants to be on the road while it's raining. Like, do you guys have a home? Shut up because I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here in these streets too. <laughs> So the next day I hit up one of my favorite places, it's called Chop 5. They make your salad right in front of you. Mine is a little boring, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to have something that made my body feel good since I was gonna have a lot to do the next day. And then after dinner, we hit the road about two hours north to Canton, Ohio. It was a big night for my friend and I was so proud to shoot for her. She looked amazing in that outfit. I like your little braid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> We were at the Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, where Miss November Williams is from. Her family, friends, and supporters were waiting there for her. They greeted her at the floor. They took lots of pictures. And these were the ones we came up with together. I had to take a little personal break. I am... Um, an antisocial butterfly. I'm just getting a little wind here. <laughs> we had a wonderful time. Nothing like being able to see one of the queens of soul. Time to go. <laughs> this is where I lost my glasses. I was so sad after that. Glad to get a ride though, because my feet were hurting at this point. My feet hurt. I need me a little chip and some dip. Okay, scared my hat's gonna fly off. Right here. 
So November Williams has an album out with her friend and producer Cons. He's actually produced some things for myself as well that you guys will get to hear. All of the songs on the project were produced and composed by Cons. He is phenomenal. He is a musical genius. November has written all of the songs on this project. And when I tell you that she did not miss, she did not miss. Make sure you guys check out Solstice. It's available on all streaming platforms right now. You can check her out on YouTube. She has a music video for the song Tap Out. She has one for Always. And this summer, she'll be releasing Pool Party. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm sorry because we missed the fresh mini donuts. But this is the setup. My friend is sashaying away from me, so let me catch up. I tend to have a great time. <laughs> There's a kid out here on a scooter. It's like midnight, what the f are you doing? I mean, I guess, I guess. Have fun, have fun, I'm not a parent, I'm not judging. But it's a little late for even me. Scary stuff outside around this time. After being around so many people for 24 hours, I needed to go home and restore myself. The first thing I wanted to do was sit with myself and be in the sun. And then the second thing I wanted to do was come home and create. I am an introverted person and I'm also highly sensitive. I learned to adapt to other people's emotional behavior to make sure that I was going to be safe. So I carried a lot of insecurities. I carried a lot of other people's baggage throughout my life that kind of made me shrink inward. And I really am tired of wearing that same old shirt. Comfortability is synonymous with complacency and it's a sure way to kill any dream, any goal, and to break your own heart. <laughs> 